Hello everyone, in this video, we are going to do a little tutorial in the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator. And we're gonna graph two functions, and one of them we're gonna find the maximum of a parabola, and the other one we're gonna find the minimum. So let's get to it. Let's turn the calculator on, and let's go into y equals. So now we're gonna type in our first function, and we're gonna do negative. Remember, this is the negative key. This is subtraction, right? So we want negative right now. 4x squared minus, now we're gonna use subtraction, minus 24x and minus 19. So let's go ahead and hit graph and see what we got. All right, so look at what happens. We, we know that the maximum is the vertex of the parabola, but we can't really see it. So our calculator is not gonna be able to tell it to us right now. So we, we need to adjust the window. So we hit the window button and we need to see higher. So that would be considered the Y max. Okay, so let's just do 20. Right now it's 10, so let's hit graph again. And now we can see the vertex of that parabola. So we know the maximum is the Y value of this point right up here. So we're gonna hit second, and then we're gonna hit trace because we wanna calculate. And notice here we see minimum for number three and maximum for number four. So essentially these give us the same thing, but it just depends on if our parabola is opening up or down. So if we go back to the graph, ours is opening down, which means this is our maximum. So that's the one we're gonna choose. So second, trace and we wanna go down to maximum. And you can do that and hit enter, or you can just hit the number four. So now it says left bound, so we wanna put our cursor on the left side of the vertex, just anywhere on the left side, we hit enter. Now we move the cursor to the right side, and we hit enter again. And when it says guess, we hit enter one last time. And now it tells us maximum, and it's gonna give us a coordinate. X is negative three, Y is 17. But our answer here is the y value, okay? Because that's the highest or the maximum point of our parabola. So we would say the, the maximum is 17. Okay, so that's how we find the maximum. Let's go back and graph another function to find the minimum. So let's do 5x squared plus 15x minus 10. Let's hit graph and see what we have. Okay, so now we need to adjust the window again. Remember, there's always a little trick. We can do zoom six to get us back to our standard zoom. That's negative 10 to 10 on both X and Y axis. Didn't really help us here because we still can't see the bottom of our parabola. So let's adjust the window and let's go down to, now this would be Y min and let's do negative 20 and hit graph. Well, still really can't see it, right? So let's go back to window and let's go down to Y min and let's do negative 30, hit graph. All right, that's great. So now we can see we have our vertex at the bottom. So this is gonna be the minimum. So we're gonna do those same steps we did for maximum, but we're just gonna choose minimum. So second trace, and we want number three this time. So we can go down to number three and hit enter, or we can just hit the number three. Now we're gonna move our cursor to the left side of the vertex, hit enter, move it to the right side of the vertex, hit enter again. And last time we hit enter to give us what our minimum is. So remember the minimum is the y value. So here our minimum is negative 21.25. And that's how you find the maximum or the minimum of a parabola on the TI-84 plus CE graphing calculator.